Hey everyone, it's Pat from Bad Tap Music and today we're learning how to play the C major 7th chord. And we're not only learning the C major 7th chord, we're actually learning every major 7th chord that there is. So definitely stick around to the end and I'm going to explain ex just exactly what the theory is as well. But if you are confused by any of the theory that we do go through, head to patdubmusic.com and everything is explained there, right? But I'm going to show you a beginner method to play the chord, an intermediate and an advanced. And you can think of these as like easy, medium, and hard. So if you can only play the easy or the first sort of chord method, come back after a little while and try out the other bar chords. But otherwise, guys, let's get started. So here is what C major 7 sounds like. Nice and dreamy and a little bit open. And you might be thinking to yourself, C major 7th, what does that mean? Now, the only bit of theory is coming up for this video, right? So here's that sound again, nice, dreamy, open sound. And all that a major seventh chord means is it's a major chord, which means it sounds nice and happy. Definitely happy rather than more of a sad chord, right? So definitely a happy major sounding chord. But the major seventh, or the seventh at the end of that name, major, happy chord, seventh, means that you're adding in the seventh degree, and it's a major seventh. Now what major seventh means, and the easiest way you can think about it, is it's the seventh note in that major scale. Or, if that's too confusing, just think of it. So what chord are we playing? We're playing a C major seventh, right? In the musical alphabet, what is one semitone below or behind C? So we're on C, if you go back a fret or a semitone, you're on B. So that there is the major seventh. So if you have a major C chord, or a happy C chord, all you need to do is add a B note. And you've got the major seventh. That's all there is. So every major seventh, right, if it's D major seven, then what's a semitone or a fret behind D or below D? So you've got D, you move back a semitone, you've got C sharp. So the major seventh note of D major seven would be C sharp. That's the only theory we're doing, guys. Again, if it's a little bit too confusing, head over to Pat David Music and check out that Grey Bond channel. But otherwise, guys, let's press on. So the notes in C major seventh, guys, are C, E, G, and B. B is the all important seventh degree. Now, how do we get there? We've got a one, a three, a five, and a major seventh. Again, go check out the website if you're not sure. But let's just dive into it. So have your third finger on the third fret of the fifth string, that's your C note. Have your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, that's your E. Have the third string open, and that's your G. So already you've got a C major chord. C, E, and G. Right? And now normally in a C major chord you have your first finger on the first fret of the second string, because that's your octave of the C. Right? And then you might play the open first string as well. But with a C major 7, all you do is just take off that first finger, so suddenly the first finger, instead of having it on, you have it off, and then you have that open second string, and that's a B note, and that's the major 7th in C major 7. So you've got C, E, G, and B. And then if you want to have the open first string as well, it's another E. Well done guys, so that is the beginning method. Good job, so you just make a C major chord, take your first finger off, and you've got C major seven. Good job guys. Now let's check out the intermediate version. Now this version will let you play all of the major seventh chords that there are, so definitely check it out. It does require you to bar or to hold down multiple strings with one finger. Take your time, it should sound nice and clean when you can eventually play the chord. Be able to hear all the strings, and if it doesn't, just take your time, and as you go, your fingers will get stronger. So, what you want to do is you want to have your first finger barring or holding down all of the strings on the third fret from the third fret of the fifth string. Then, you want to make a power chord with your third finger on the fifth fret, so that's C and G, right? Of the fourth string. Then, you want your second finger, and this is the all important note, second finger on the fourth fret of the third string. That's your major 7, right there. Then you want your pinky on the 5th fret of the 2nd string. And that's your E note. And then finally, your 1st finger is still holding down, so that's how you get to the 3rd fret, which is another G, on the 1st string, and that's it. Now this can take a little while to get nice and clean. It might take you a couple playthroughs to get that little bit of finger strength. 
But once you do, the only reason it's C major 7 is because we're starting on the 3rd fret. If you move it up to the 5th fret, suddenly you've got D major 7. If you move it up to the 7th fret, suddenly you've got E major 7. So with one chord shape, you can now play every major 7th chord. Great job, guys! Now the last version that we're looking at, it's maybe a little bit trickier than the intermediate, or maybe you'll find this, the hard version, a little bit easier than the intermediate. Just let me know, guys. Now let's check out the more advanced method, guys. And again, this is just a little bit trickier, but you can definitely do it, guys. So you want your first finger barring down, or holding down all the strings from the 8th fret of the 6th string. Then you want your pinky on the 10th fret of the 5th string, in that power chord shape. Then you want your 2nd finger on the 9th fret of the string below. And then you want, and this is the tricky bit, you want also your 3rd finger tucked in on the 9th fret, just below that as well. And the other strings you just want open. And again, it's a movable bar chord, so it's C because we're starting on the 8th fret. If you move back a fret, you've got B major 7. Back 2 frets, you've got A major 7. And that's it guys, you've learned all of the major 7th chords that there are. Good job! Now again, the notes in C major 7 are C, E, G, and B, 1, 3, 5, and 7. And again, if you're not sure, head to patdavidmusic.com, go to the Grade 1 playlist and everything will be explained there. But basically, if you've got a C major 7th chord, right, then, if you, or with any chord, if you want to work out what the 7th degree is, just go a fret back. So if it's C, we're on the 3rd fret of the 5th string, what's a fret back? B. Ah, so in the C major 7, I need to include a B. Just do that with every chord. Otherwise, well done, guys. If you do like this video, then please give it a like. Any comments if you are having a hard time or if you like this video, definitely let me know. And thanks very much for watching, guys. See you all again.